and President Zelensky will make a virtual address before a joint session of the United States Congress tomorrow. Our Lady Aspara went to Parma's Ukrainian community to ask what residents there are looking for in that speech. This is a labor of love. Julie has been rolling, stuffing, and pinching pierogies for 34 years. But Maria says this year's different. This year, every piece of dough that's cut, they think of their families in Ukraine. This Putin, very bad. Vladimir Putin and his army invaded Ukraine on February 20th. Since then, Volodymyr Zelensky, Ukraine's president, has been requesting more help from the world. He will get his chance to address the United States at the Capitol on Tuesday. Myron Sopka says this is his time. We didn't expect that he changed a lot. He, you know, grow up as a president. Every, now everybody supports him. Supporting Zelensky is what they do. They want him to ask for more guns and military equipment, but mostly they want this. We want a peace and cover our uh, uh, sky. We need freedom from Russia. Democratic freedom they have now and a leader who is fighting for it. Do you think he'll be brave in front of the American people tomorrow? I hope so. Here in this small room, they hope and pray as they make pierogies. They will sell them and believe each package is made with love and that Ukraine will once again be free. God bless each country, America and Ukraine, and we must be together. Now you can see they are trying to keep things normal here. They continue with their fish fries and selling their pierogies to try and raise money for Ukraine. And the community here has been overwhelmingly supportive of them. But they will listen closely to Zelensky tomorrow. And Russ, after Zelensky speaks, President Biden is expected to speak. And that will all be seen right here on 3 News. Yes, it is supposed to start at 9 a.m. As you said, Lydia, we will have it here on 3 News. Thank you so much.